Hello sports lovers, welcome to Mess Boss TV. I'm mad. Today's boxing update is about Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. It was a very exciting event in Saudi Arabia, the Ayara Arena. They drew a lot of stars from across the world. Cristiano Alvaro dos Santos Ronaldo, Derek Ward Chisuru, Deontay the Bronze Bomba Wilder, Tyson the Jesse King Fury, Devin the Dream Haney, Showtime Sean Porter, Ion Mike Tyson. These are some of the stars who were in Saudi Arabia to watch these two novice fight. So this tells you that these guys have done themselves a lot of good. They have marketed themselves well. They have projected themselves well. And a lot of people think that this would go a long way to affect boxing. I tell you, hell no. Jake Paul and Tommy Free have brought new eyeballs to the sport and have got new people interested in boxing. They've got new people talking about boxing and that is how we should look at it. We should always look at the positive side of things in order to grow and try to improve on the negative. A lot of people focus on the negative and they don't see the positive that is so glaring in their eyes. And kudos to Jake Paul, though he lost the fight by split decision. I think that he has defied the odds. He has come into a circle in which, under normal circumstances, he, he wouldn't be allowed in. And he is doing great for himself. And I applaud him for that. Now, to Tommy Fury, he showed that he has been around boxing for a very long time. He has shown that uh, the preparation his brother has been doing for world championship fights has helped him. And that was the only edge he had over uh, Jake Paul because he was a little bit calmer. Jake Paul was a little bit jittery in that fight. When the fight started, he was all over the place. And he, I think Jake Paul must work on his footwork a lot. The way he resets makes uh, Tommy Fury move away from him, making him not able to land his punches. And his punches, his right overhand were so wild that Tommy Fury could telegraph it from uh, could see it from a long distance. He was so much telegraphing his punches, which wasn't good enough for me. If he really wants to improve, he should start being sleek, disguising the the over right hand behind the jab, and he must learn to land land a lot of jab. These are not critique. Uh, these are not negative criticism, but these are positive one in which Jake, if he works on it, he can do well or he can go ahead and win the rematch if he really activates the rematch clause because he did not give a bad account of himself relax remember he knocked down tommy fury in the 12 round yes tommy fury did not look hurt he went ahead and showed dominance after he was knocked down but the job was there to be landed and he took it if he had imagine if he had started landing or working behind the jab right from round one he would have had a lot of successes and the next thing he should also work on was his head movement and how to dock punches and i don't think that tommy fury is heavy fisted enough because he, he he landed the cleaner punches of the two and if he was heavy fisted he should have been able to stop uh jake paul jake paul defensively showed much improvement from the silver fight yes he showed much improvement from the silver fight because in the silver fight silver landed a lot of punches in which if 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 Silva had the footworks and the know-how in boxing, he would have stopped him. But though the same happened, you, you could see slight improvement, how he positioned himself, how he protected himself very well. So kudos to Jake Paul. Tommy Fury also needs to work on his timing and how to put his opponents under constant pressure. The combination one, two, and grab, I don't think is his thing because if he's facing Jake Paul, who does not know how to defend himself like the elite boxer, I think he should go ahead and take it or uh, take his head off. And sometimes, too, he was clinching too much and he was missing too much for someone who has been in boxing for a very long time because sometimes Jake Paul was there to be hit, but Tommy would go ahead and miss. Tommy Fury, kudos to him, too. There was a lot of pressure. Stay in Saudi Arabia, change your name. There was a lot of pressure. People asking him, why are you docking Jake Paul? The fight has been postponed two times and all were coming from his camp. So you could imagine then the amount of pressure on him and the bets that um, Jake Paul pulled in last minute threw him off the game. All these were pressures on 
Tommy Fury, but he came out victorious. Kudos to him. But in the rematch, if he doesn't show great improvement, I think Jake Paul will get him out of there. We must see his him committed to the game more than he is now. He must be in the boxing ring. He must improve his skill. I don't think his father is a good enough coach to take him to the land of boxing if he really wants to. His father may know boxing, but there's a difference between knowing and teaching. He must get someone who would have time to teach him the basics of boxing and improve him and take him to the next level. Or, or he can just choose to go the YouTube route or the influencer route, as it's now being called. Fight KSI, rematch Jake Paul, then try to go through the rankings and compete for a world title. All the, in all these angles are available to him and he would be making lots of money both anywhere he decides to go. So, uh, Tommy Fury is in a very good position in making money and making legacy. He can be called the first or... Yes, he, he, he can work his way and become the most prominent influencer boxer. And that wouldn't be a bad record at all. Both ways, anyhow, he has a chance to make history. So thank you for watching. Stay positive. Let's keep supporting this guy. Let's keep pushing them to give up their best. But I don't think that their next fight is a pay-per-view worthy fight. If you have not subscribed till this time, please do subscribe now. Yes, I don't think it's a pay-per-view fight because we have already seen the grudge being settled. So now, on their next fight, if they don't put up a stack start uh, uh, event, they, that fight is not going to be a pay-per-view fight. No matter what they bring on board, people will not be interested in watching because the grudge match had already been settled and people did not see too much skills. I've seen that on social media, though I was impressed because I knew the level of of the boxes maybe two novels a lot of people were expecting to see a lennox lewis versus iron mike tyson sort of performance no these are two novices if under normal circumstances these people should be fighting in areas they both have less than 10 fights as and now they usually should be fighting area championship fights they shouldn't be fighting at international level doing pay-per-view fights so you should understand what they bring on board. So, thank you for watching. Stay positive. Remember, your, lim your greatness has no limits. Au revoir.